Hey guys, it's Lacey, Tuesday. <laughs> and it's actually Tuesday! Woo! I finally got it right. Sorry I didn't make a video last week. I got really, really busy on Tuesday and said, okay, I'll make a video tomorrow. And then completely forgot. I'm sorry, I suck. I suck. Um, I've been really busy though lately, so please, 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 please forgive me. Um, all of my courses are like conspiring against me and so is my job. <laughs> And I'll tell you why. First off, okay. First, can you see this little thing here? That like group of hairs is driving me crazy. I don't think I told you guys this, but one day my boyfriend was shaving his face with his electric razor and I was making fun of him because it was like one in the morning and he was just like, oh, I'm gonna shave for no reason. And he grabbed some hair and he was like, I'm gonna shave it off. And I freaked out and I was like, oh no, you're not. So I moved and he went, like I tried to jerk away and he goes Phew! and he just stared at me and he was holding my hair in his hand and he was like I wasn't really gonna shave it off until you moved and and, and you, you cut it off yourself so now I've got this weird like piece of hair that it's like this big group of like an inch long hair that just likes to stick straight up all the time and it's driving me crazy today because I keep seeing it anyway um that wasn't that wasn't what made me not make a video last week. All of my courses, like they started off and they were like, oh yeah, read these four chapters or five chapters in these books and you know, do your test or your first assignment. So last Friday I had a biology exam. On Saturday I had an art appreciation exam and assignment due. And like I've been working on this stuff like crazy, crazy, crazy. I didn't actually make it to my classes on Monday. Today I had a lab practical in biology lab. Tomorrow I have a government test and Thursday I have this big huge magazine review um, slash explain everything about the magazine process from like five different aspects of the job and I'm crazy like going out of my mind trying to read and like write and do all this crap and it's really depressing, it's very depressing. But so far, I have gotten B's on everything because I'm just doing it as fast as I can and not really doing it as well as I can, I guess I should say. And then at work, um, apparently they decided to change all these price listings for like this big, huge company we work for. So after I did all the billing for like two months, they sent it all back to me and said, oh, hey, you're going to have to delete this and fix all of this. But they haven't told me what the right prices are yet. So I have all these papers that are actually due today that I haven't done because no one will tell me what the price listings are. And, like, this is just, this is just the stack of stuff that I've gotten since they told me to stop doing that. Anyway, that really sucks. So I'm going to get my ass yelled at ass yelled at? Whatever. Then, funny story, um, I, I got out of class early and I came to work and apparently we had, I don't know if I told you guys, but one day it rained really, really, really bad and all of the water flooded into our building and we had to rip out all the carpet and it took us a couple of days to like air out the place and everything. Well, it rained really, really hard on Sunday night. And it was awesome. It was like the only rain we've gotten since last summer, probably. And I love the rain. It was awesome, awesome, awesome. But uh, we had a water leak after it rained, but we didn't find out until this morning when half the building was flooded. So there's no water in here today. So every time you have to use the bathroom, you have to drive down the street to town and country, which sucks. But that's okay, because I haven't been in there in months. And when I went in, the lady was like, Oh, hey, you want your cigarettes? I haven't seen you in a while, but I still remember what you take. I was like, that's cool. You're so nice. Okay, enough of random stories. Uh, Megan, thank you for wishing me a happy birthday. I'm one of the few people who is actually in a Groundhog's Club. My birthday is Groundhog's Day, and everyone likes to call me at like 6.30 in the morning and say, oh, hey, have you seen your shadow? Which really is annoying because I'm usually asleep when they do it. They call because they know I'm asleep, and that sucks. But um, that's all good. So my birthday's over with. Kind of, I'm kind of very glad about that. 
birthday. My birthday for the last like 10 years has not been a, like a good day. There's usually some huge crazy thing that happens that sucks. But this year wasn't half bad. But I was really busy, so I'm glad it's over with. Andrew, you said you didn't know if I played the guitar. I own a guitar, and I recently gave it to my brother to learn how to play because he would like to learn too. I want to learn to play. I only know a few chords, and I didn't stick with it very well because I still, for some reason, have no calluses no matter how hard I play and try and make my hand bleed I cannot build calluses so I kind of slowly gave up and was like oh, okay you know I'll play a little bit here and there and eventually got busy forgot put it on the back burner and I haven't played in a very long time but um, I don't really know any songs I just know some chords but I think it's really cool that you and Megan can play. I think that's awesome. Now to your question about if there was a song that you would like to like like to know. Um, I'm glad that Megan said Wonderwall because that's a good song. I love it and I, I would love to be able to play that. But the song, I guess the song that I like try and live my life by, I would definitely say I wish I could play it because I sing it all the time. And that would be Sublime's What I Got. Yes, I love that song. Love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. If there was anyone else, uh, it would have to be this one guy named Monty Montgomery. There's like a genre of music called Austin rock or Texas rock, I've heard it called both. And pretty much it's kind of like an alternative country. Like it doesn't sound like country. It's not like, oh my God, my, my girlfriend left me. My dog got run over by a train and I'm gonna go have sex with that dead corpse. And, I mean, it's not like really depressing and I'm sorry if I offended anyone who likes country music. I'm not really big into country music myself. Um, I was when I was little. There's a lot of like 90s country that I, every now and then I'll be like, oh, I remember this song, I like it. But there's a guy who plays like only in the Austin area who I would love to see and his name is Monty Montgomery. He is an excellent, excellent guitarist. And I'll put like one of my favorite songs, it's called When Will I? I'll put it over there so you can like watch him. The first time I heard his music, I heard it on a like a live CD that my brother was listening to. And he's kind of into that kind of music. And I was like, oh man, this guy's really, really good. And you know, after talking to him for a while, he told me that he was playing an, an acoustic guitar. And just from listening to it, I thought he was playing like the electric guitar. And I was just amazed at like how good he was because I'd never heard anything like that. Um, if you kind of want to see what I mean, if I remember correctly, about 3, 3.15 is where the solo starts. And pretty much in all of his like live music, you know, he'll sing the song and he's playing and everything and then he just goes into this like all out solo that will last three minutes. Which is cool to me, I think that's, I think that's great. Anyway, it's over there. I hope you guys like it, if you don't then like I said, I think it's 3.15 is kind of where the solo starts. Just just listen to a little bit of it, because it's pretty cool. I guess that is everything, because this is a kind of long video. So I'm going to go now. Hope you're all having a good week. Andrew, I was glad to see you. Megan, you're awesome. I liked your singing, of, you know. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to go. And I'm going to go work on government. <laughs> Bye. Early in the morning, rising to the streets Lock me up that cigarette and I'll strap shoes on my feet Got to find a reason, a reason things went wrong Got to find a reason why my money's all gone I got a Dalmatian, but I can still get high I can play the guitar like a motherfucking riot Wow, for a shitty whistler, that was a good whistle.